Hello and welcome to lesson two, all about the U.S. citizenship test. Now, from our last lesson, we learned what the benefits of U.S. citizenship are, and we talked a little bit about what it takes to become a U.S. citizen. Now, let's just quickly recap、um, what you need to do to become a U.S. citizen. Again, you must be at least 18 years old. You must be a permanent resident for at least five years within 30 months of being physically in the United States. You need to file an N-400 form with your filing fees. And in this lesson, I will focus on the actual part of the U.S. citizenship test. Are you ready? Let's take a look. So before you even take the test, there are some things that you have to bring to the test itself. So once you submit your N four hundred, you will get、um, a letter for fingerprinting. That should probably take about two to three months, and after you get fingerprinted. You will get an appointment notice. So this appointment notice will show you when you should arrive, what the address of the location is, everything you really need to know about your citizenship appointment. Now you want to bring your permanent resident card or your green card, all your passports, valid or expired. You want to bring your passport from your home country and any. Other documents,、um, such as state ID cards, such as your driver's license. Now, you do want to、uh, bring more documents、uh, than this because if you are married or if you have been previously married, you need your proof of marital status. So, if you're married, you need your marriage certificate. If you are divorced, you need your divorce documents. Um, you need to provide your court decree for a name change if you are changing your name, and you need to know your spouse's marital history, any documents that they have, and you also need to bring documentation of any previous marriages from you or your spouse also, and you need a court disposition in criminal cases. And if you are a man, you need to bring. If you are of the age between eighteen and twenty-six, you may need to bring your selective service registration. Now, all this is actually、uh, covered very well in a video here from YouTube.、Uh, here's the link below, and I'll give you a brief intro so that you know this is the right video. And welcome to U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. I'm Damian Martinez. All right. As long as you see Damian Martinez, this is a video that you want to watch.、Um, this video covers very well what the process is, and it will show you through a reenactment how it will actually be.、Um, because I am not an actress, this video will be very important for you. To get a sense of how the actual process will be. Now let's take a look at the actual immigration interview. The immigration interview will cover questions from the N-400 form, so that's a form that you just submitted. And be aware that you will be placed under oath. That means they'll ask you to raise your right hand and promise to tell the truth. Um, now let's go into detail about what the actual test is. So an important part of the test is the U.S. History and Civics test. So there's a hundred test questions. They will ask you ten of them, and if you get six correct, you'll be able to pass. 
And this is given orally and delivered orally. Um, no writing on this test, so make sure that your English sc speaking skills is up to par. Next is the English reading and writing test. There's three reading questions given, so you only need one question correct. You only need to read one English sentence correctly to pass the reading test. And for the writing test, they will give you three writing questions, their sentences, and you only need one correct. You only need to write one sentence correctly to pass. So I will go over the reading and writing section of the exam after I go over all 100 questions with you. And that's it. Thank you for watching lesson two. I'll see you in the next video.